Good day. I'm Don Popsinski, candidate for a seat on the Hadley Select Board on April 12th. First of all, I'd like to start off by thanking Hadley Public Television for the opportunity to address the citizens of Hadley. I remember a long time ago we started out, I signed the contract in 1990 when they started and I'm so pleased with the way it has evolved and to show local government and things of that sort. I'll try to inject a little bit of the past today and a little bit of humor to make it a little bit more interesting. Nobody wants to listen to anybody talk straight for 10 minutes, so, and I'll let you be the judge of how it comes out. First of all, the Popsinski family has served the town for a long time. Many of the positions that they have served is the selectman, superintendent of schools, police chief, principal, water and sewer department, finance committee, coaches, and numerous teachers in the Hadley school system. A total of six generations of Pepchinskis have lived in the town of Hadley. Not as long as the West, I think if we follow their lineage, probably they came over on the Mayflower, I would think, but I'm not sure. Dear concerned citizens of Hadley, with today's fast-paced society, it isn't very often you can give something back to your community to make it a better place to live, work, and play. I feel the best way to serve the townspeople of Hadley is in local government. Over the last 40 years of involvement, I've learned a great deal along the way. With the respect and confidence of my colleagues, I was once elected president of the Hampshire County Selectmen's Association and a member of the Massachusetts Selectmen's Executive Board. During the last five years, the economy has been very robust for all of the 351 communities in the Commonwealth, not just in Hadley. My four years on the Finance Committee and six years as a select person has given me the tools to do, deal with an upcoming recession. The school department has already indicated in their fiscal 217 budget a possible proposition to override is needed. I have made tough fiscal decisions in the past and I'm ready to deal with them in the future. My philosophy on the issues has been set over the years. I would be labeled as a fiscal conservative, but that doesn't mean I am not willing to spend a dollar if I can envision getting two or three back for my investment. Yes, I care about quality education. That's why I will be a strong advocate for our school's precious resource, our children and their education. Yes, I care about aquifer protection and our environment. That's why I served on the Water Task Force 2000. Yes, I care about agricultural preservation and conservation. That's why I work so vigorously to set up the APR program, which now has 2,900 50 acres of protected land in Hadley, which is just slightly under 50% of all of the land that the town of Hadley is part of. Yes, I care about transportation and infrastructure issues. That's why I helped create the Route 9 corridor of critical concern, which enabled us to put three lanes on the Coolidge Bridge and a cantilevering sidewalk to accomplish that. We also extended four lanes all the way to West Street Common. My concern would be now to try to deal with the congestion at Damon Road and fix that intersection and extend four lanes all the way to the University, of, University Drive in Amherst. Yes, I care about the financial stability of Hadley taxpayers. That's why I will continue to work to attract new revenues so our tax rate remain diverse. That allows people on fixed incomes as well as young families to remain living in harmony in the town of Hadley. I'm a property owner, Hadley businessman, and taxpayer. My qualifications and government experience are as follows. Six years Hadley Select Board Chairman 2. 
And those terms were with only three members, not five like we have today. Four years, Hadley Finance Board, Chairman three, also only three members at that time. Two years, Hampshire County Executive Board, Vice Chairman, Massachusetts Select Boards Association, Executive Board, Hampshire County Select Board Association, President, Massachusetts Municipal Association, Hampshire County Council of Government, Hopkins Academy Renovation Committee, which I was co-chair co with Paul McCretzky. Uh, my wife and I ended up moving to Belchertown to try condo living. I had to resign and my classmate, Scott Kellogg, took over my position and brought it to fruition. Initially, we were gonna get a $3 million grant for complete renovation. Uh, they drove to Boston one day to get that funding and next thing they knew, the state school building board decided to, to make it a core project and they came back with 1.8 million. So I'm a little, little leery sometimes what the state says you're gonna get for grants and what you end up with. I also had worked in school tra transportation for 44 years, which I'm still doing today. Uh, at one point, I worked for 25 years in the Hadley School System as transportation coordinator. Past and present civic affiliations. Hampshire County Deputy Sheriff's Association, Hook and Ladder Number no. 5 Volunteer Firemen's Association, I'm an Army veteran and member of the Hadley American Legion Post 271 for over 40 years. United Sportsmen's Association, Hadley Business Association, Most Holy Redeemer Church, I'm a parishioner there, Hampshire County Red Cross Executive Board, and Mickey Mantle Baseball Association. I like to think I'm a proven leader. I've done it in the past and I will continue to do it in the future. There is a great deal of work ahead of us if we are to successfully maintain the standard of living in our community that we now call home. We must deal with the issues of providing our citizens with adequate public safety for their protection and property as well as the best educational environment for future generations. We have the resources and the talents in our community to allow us to deal with the issues of the 21st century. But to accomplish our goals, we must work as a team to reach a positive end for all of Hadley's inhabitants. I will make no promises. I will only say that I will continue to devote all my energies to represent all of the citizens of Hadley. In closing, I would like to tell a little joke from, uh, it was about 25 years ago, my neighbor, Ross Fryer, who was the uh, farm state agent for all of Western Massachusetts, he told me this, we were cutting uh, wood out in his Cummington area farm, and he said, uh, you know, Northampton just applied for a uh, phone line, a direct line to heaven, and they received it. And uh, soon after that, Amherst applied for a phone line, and they received theirs. So the Hadley Board of Select and decided, well, we might as well apply and get a phone line too. So Hadley submits their application and it comes back with a big rejection on it. And under it says, the reason why you're rejected is because you're already living in heaven in Hadley. And that's what I feel about our town too. Uh, if you feel my candidacy, as select person is worthy of your vote, I would be honored to serve you. Thank you. Yours in good government, Don Pipsinski. Thank you to Richard Truswell and to the HPAT TV for affording the candidates this opportunity to speak to the Hadley taxpayers. My name is Linda Sanderson and I am the incumbent town treasurer. 
Last year, you le elected me to a one-year term following the midterm retirement of Connie Michikowski. I thank you for being given the opportunity to serve as treasurer this past year, and I now ask you to re-elect me to a full three-year term. I have lived in Hadley for 35 years. My husband, Bill Dwyer, and I returned to Hadley soon after marrying in 1981. We had both recently graduated from Boston College Law School and came to join Bill's father's law practice. We raised our three children next door to their grandparents. Dan, Allie, and Michael all attended the Hadley schools and graduated from Hopkins Academy. Bill and I opened our law firm as, in Hadley as Dwyer and Sanderson in 1996 and moved into the family home in North Hadley the following year. Serving the community has always been important to our family. I volunteered on Hadley's first Early Childhood Advisory Council. I was a Girl Scout leader for 12 years and a member of the Hopkins Academy School Council for 10 years. I worked with the clarinet sections for the Hopkins bands. I assisted rehearsals with the mock trial team, and I was a production volunteer for the drama club. I was lucky enough to be appointed by three different moderators for four terms on the Hadley Finance Committee, a position I really did enjoy and one that undoubtedly led to my interest and in running for treasurer when the position opened up a year ago. That experience with municipal budgeting and finance, combined with my legal background in contracts, financial planning, and fiduciary accounting, made me feel that this would be a great fit for me and for the town. And I believe my work as treasurer this past year has shown this to be true. The primary responsibility of the treasurer is the oversight and management of the town's cash and investment accounts. That includes reconciling revenues and fund balances, filing state and federal reports, handling and settling tax title claims. The treasurer oversees all of the town's revenues, including grants, state aid, and reimbursements. Hadley's incoming money totals the average of nearly $2 million every month. Our treasurer's office also processes the town's payments as approved by the Accountant and Select Board, and that is about $2 million in outgoing checks and wire transfers that we also uh, process each month. Our office reports monthly on these revenues and warrant expenditures, and we do full reconciliations of every bank and investment account every month. We reconcile these balances against our own cash receipt records, and finally, we reconcile our total fund balances against the accountant's general ledger. This ending cash balance in Hadley ranges from between 10 and $12 million at the end of every month. And we always balance to the penny by the end of the first week of the following month. It's a thrill every time, like getting that last piece in the jigsaw puzzle. It's great, but that's just the beginning. In addition to money management, our Hadley Treasurer's Office takes on a number of issues commonly handled by entire departments in larger towns. Departments such as Human Resources Department that handles employee benefits, workers' comp, and unemployment issues. A retirement office, an auditor's office that handles payroll and accounts payable, and a finance director that oversees all the financial services, handles estate and federal reporting, and takes care of all borrowings and oversees the annual audits. And Hadley, we don't have these extra departments and levels of supervision. Full responsibility for payroll, employee and retirement benefits, workers' compensation claims and unemployment claims, processing the accounts payable payments, handling the borrowings, debt management, and annual audits. And Hadley, this all lies with the treasurer's office. It's this variety that makes the treasurer's job so interesting to me. No two weeks are the same. It's amazing, and that is why I love it. Fortunately, I came into this job with some degree of experience in every one of these areas of responsibility. But I was also extremely fortunate to have an assistant treasurer in place. Joan, Zuga, Joan Zuzko had over 17 years experience. And Connie Michkowski, who served 25 years before me. There was a long history of dedication and experience in this office between those two. It was a pleasure to step in and be able to continue in the same spirit, even as I brought my own skills to the table and added some new dimensions to the job. Part of the job I have enjoyed most is playing a leadership role in overseeing not only the general financial health of our current holdings, but in planning ahead to best protect Hadley's finances and the taxpayers' dollars as we face our future financial obligations. 
I particularly enjoyed being able to apply my decades of experience as an attorney in Hadley and a member of Hadley's Finance Committee to our town's larger planning and policy issues. In the absence of a finance director, this obligation falls primarily to the town administrator. As treasurer, I work closely with David Nixon on many of these tougher projects. Examples include planning for the funding and oversight of the OPEB funds and retirement trusts in order, to, in order to meet our future obligations to our past and present employees in a fiscally responsible manner. The town accumulated an unfunded liability of just over $7 million. And Hadley now has a solid plan of annual contributions to a dedicated trust fund to pay off this obligation in 30 years' time. Another example is in capital planning. Coming up with a capital borrowing structure and debt payment plan so as to make best use of the taxpayer dollars raised for the purchase of new buildings, vehicles, and equipment. With proper planning, more of your debt exclusion funds can go to principal in the short run and at the same time increase our ability to take on larger projects such as the new, new municipal buildings being discussed. Good financial planning matters. It takes a lot of upfront time and a lot of patience to see the results. This level of work is less obvious on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you've lived in Hadley for very long, you've likely already experienced the benefits of long-term planning. Hadley's unique ability to plan ahead has resulted in enviously healthy stabilization and CPA fund accounts. A solid start to funding OPEB, which is our employee benefits fund, and a sound capital stabilization funded, uh, plan funded annually from meals tax proceeds. It was due in no small part to these uh, planning ideas that Hadley was given a double A plus bond rating, allowing us to borrow at better interest rates. We need to keep that rate. Last month, we had the dedication of the Dennis Huckowitz Public Safety Complex, the result of the long view vision of a part-time police chief running the department out of an old barn. At the time, our public safety personnel and our school families joined together in their efforts, and the town bought land for both projects. This allowed both the elementary school and the public safety complex projects to get underway in the same time frame. I've given concrete examples of how long-term planning has helped us in the past, and should serve to remind us of how important it is that we keep that cooperative and um, visionary outlook going forward into the future. Financial planning absolutely matters. It is the area I feel I can make a real difference for you, and I hope you will agree. I love being a part of Hadley's financial team. We have a great treasurer's office going right now. Joan Zuzko and I have all the bases covered, and we have it running beautifully. We would love to be able to continue with some new ideas and projects recently begun. Please vote on Tuesday, April 12th, and re-elect Linda Sanderson as Hadley's town treasurer. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kristen Parmenter, and I am running for town treasurer. I have lived in Hadley the last seven years, but have been a resident of the Pioneer Valley the past 25. I spent most of my childhood in neighboring Amherst before moving to Florence in my teens. My fiance, Justin Yazerski, is a lifelong Hadley resident. I have one son who is in first grade at the elementary school. I am currently the assistant treasurer for the city of Northampton, where I work alongside the treasurer in all aspects of the city's finances. I have extensive experience reconciling monthly bank statements, as well as processing and printing payroll and accounts payable warrants. I am also familiar with the importance of meeting all state and federal deadlines in regards to payroll, sales and meals taxes, and wage reporting. Prior to becoming the assistant treasurer, I was the payroll and accounts payable coordinator, also for the city of Northampton. In this position, my job was to input and process the city's biweekly payroll, as well as proof and process weekly accounts payable warrants before their transfer to the treasurer's office for final processing and printing. I have extensive cash handling and cash control experience from five years working for Florence Savings Bank, where I was a senior teller and a teller trainer. I have a degree in liberal arts from Greenfield Community College and am currently pursuing my bachelor's in finance with a focus in accounting at the Eisenberg School of Management at UMass Amherst. If elected as part of my fiduciary responsibility to the town of Hadley, 
I will look at the structure of the current bank accounts to make sure that they fit the needs of the community in respect to safety, liquidity, and yield. I will also look at ways to improve the interest revenue for the town. I have extensive experience working with tax titles, including land of low values. I would love to implement a proactive plan to work with residents to resolve their tax title matters. I understand the importance of working together with other departments and will work hard to build relationships among these departments to create a respectful working environment with excellent lines of communication. From my experience working in the city of Northampton, I have found that teamwork is the key to success. This will create a positive environment for both employees and the public. Working in a treasurer's office for the last two years has enabled me to meet many people. I already have great working relationships with numerous local banks, as well as tax title attorneys and financial managers. I am a member of the Massachusetts Treasurer Collector Association, where I've completed two years of their annual treasurer's school. Like all of you folks, I've worked hard to get where I am today, and I would love the opportunity to be able to utilize my hard work ethic and dedication within this wonderful community where I'm raising my family. Please vote for Kristen Parmenter for Treasurer on April 12th. Thank you.